We're here on Ash Wednesday outside the Ministry of Defence building with the Pax Christi and other Catholic groups. Peace walk. With Jesus, we face the dark side of ourselves. We choose to pray at the Ministry of Defence. Our government is set on maintaining the UK's independent nuclear deterrent. To deter the most extreme threats of our national security and way of life, now and in the future. We have a Prime Minister who has said she would press the nuclear button. So as citizens, we too have responsibility. Peace walk. We just had a blessing and distribution of ashes and holy water. And now representatives from Pax Christi, CND, other groups, campaigners are going to walk slowly around the building and mark it with the blessed ashes as a sign of repentance um, and also a kind of acknowledgement of our own complicity in systems of power and things like this as well. It's a very powerful witness that's been going on in London for many, many years and it doesn't seem to be showing any signs of stopping. Big names in the crowd as well. Um, towards the back is Bruce Kent, CND activist. I think I've been to all of them. I can't remember missing one. Yeah. But uh, it must be 20, 20, 30 times now. Yeah. We've got uh, Pat Gaffney, former head of Pax Christi, um, Ellen Teague from the Columbans, Joseph Lesko, who runs the website Independent Catholic News. And it's really a very powerful and a very peaceful sign of protest and an appropriate way to mark Lent as well, the beginning of Lent. I think it's a very important Ash Wednesday. It's a time of penance, isn't it, and prayer. And here is the most awful thing in the world, mm. weapons that can destroy whole cities and thousands of people. I think as a sign of penance, it's a very appropriate place to begin. As Bruce Kent was just saying, uh, it's, it's kind of appropriate to start this season of repentance with a really tangible act of repentance like this. Obviously, the risk is that it can look a bit judgmental. It can look like uh, the people here are judging the people inside the building, but really, that's not the spirit of what's going on here. I'm talking to the people here. Maybe it is judging them. I don't have to, you don't have to do that in an uncharitable, unkind way. But what they're doing or allowing to happen is wicked, and we should have the courage to say so, to plan to annihilate hundreds of thousands of people. And that's what people operating these machines are willing to do. If they get an order to do it, they're willing to do it. To me, it's absolutely impossible. Yeah. Yeah. So these ribbons are a symbol uh, of the countries that haven't signed the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. And we're going to tie them, or protesters are going to tie them to the gates outside the Ministry of Defence building. In the world at large, we're a minority in nuclear powers. Uh, there are nine nuclear countries now. Nobody else is rushing to get them. Um, and I think that the general impression in the public is that they're a waste of time. So I, I think it's kept going by the old boy network. Mm. We are, we're a military country, blah, blah, blah. But imagine we've got nuclear weapons now and we can't even make the, the missiles to put them on. We have to borrow the missiles from America. It's like having a family car and you have to borrow the wheels from your neighbour. Yeah. I'm going to add my ribbon to the line of ribbons that's being tied outside the MND building. The black and the purple, as in kind of vestments in church, are signs of repentance, uh, making this particularly appropriate for Ash Wednesday. I think a great step forward is that Pope Francis has condemned clearly the possession as well as the use of nuclear weapons. All the other bishops in the past, Pope John XXIII, have said the use was wicked, but this one has said the possession is wicked as well. It's a step forward. Are you disappointed not to see any representation from the Bishops' Conference? Do you think the Cardinal should be here? Well, that's up to them. I'm not going to speak on the Bishops. So we've had some very... I'm a great fan of Archbishop Roberts. Um, Malcolm McMahon mm -hmm. in Liverpool has been very strong. Uh, I, yes, I would, they have condemned nuclear weapons as such. Yeah. But when, now that we're going to spend 
200 billion on more nuclear weapons, I would expect a statement from the bishops about the immorality of it, and I'm still waiting. My flagpole is at home because I was once refused entry to Debenham's coffee shop on Oxford Street for carrying an instrument of demonstration, and all I wanted was a coffee. But it's something that I've been involved with quite a long time. I've been a member of Pax Christie for many years. It was one of my first introductions to, to Justice and Peace, hearing about the work of Pax Christie, and also working with the Quakers uh, many years ago in Chester for their Peace and Reconciliation Programme. And I'm actually chair of the National Justice and Peace Network, which works very closely with Pax Christie and other organisations who are very concerned about the amount of money that we're spending on weapons of war, mass destruction, when we could be spending lots of money on building more cohesive societies in this country and abroad as well, making for more cohesion amongst all ages, intergenerational justice and peace, and recognising that peace and conflict, environment degradation are all interconnected, as Pope Francis says in his Laudato Si, we're all for our common home really. So that's why I'm here today. Possession of nuclear weapons is now unequivocally condemned by Pope Francis and many other Christian and religious leaders. Yet our nation holds them ready. A threat of unspeakable humanitarian crimes to be done on our behalf and cannot think beyond outdated Cold War deterrence policy. So, this is really the most solemn part of the vigil when the protesters are going forward uh, while the crowd sings the Ubi Caritas and adding ash to the outline of the word repent which is in sackcloth which is obviously a biblical sign of repentance uh, on the ground outside the Ministry of Defence. So again it's a, a sort of sign of repentance from everybody here but also a very symbolic gesture as well.